we are very pleased to introduce to libraries Ken Banks. Ken Banks is a local Birmingham artist. He lives and works in Birmingham and is passionate about the people, buildings and places in our city. Ken's practice is multidisciplinary. He makes paintings, photographs, videos, pen and ink drawings, collage, traditional prints and sculpture. We are so excited that Ken has chosen community libraries as a venue to display some of his work this summer. Six community libraries, South Yardley, Yardley Wood, Birchfield, Tower Hill, Perry Common and Northfield will be hosting Ken's work for several weeks during the summer. We are delighted to invite Ken to talk to us today and look forward to hearing about his art practice and about the inspiration behind his most recent creations. Can you tell us a little bit about your history and how you became an artist? Um, I've always um, been working with arts, even from a young, uh, young child. Um, I did my A-levels, should have gone to art college decided not to go and got a job in an advertising studio in Birmingham where I spent uh, two and a bit years as a finished artist um, in the traditional sense. Um, no, no digital work at all. It was all cut and paste uh, airbrushing. So that was my first artistic job officially. Uh, and then later I came out, of, came out of that into an engineering career Quite successful in that. Um, sold the business I was part of in 2004, then at a product development company, and then in 2008 I went back into the arts, um, doing community arts, recording studio, soundstage. Could you tell us about your most recent work and what inspired you to create 72 highly individual? And distinctive masks. Uh, I've been inspired by the games coming to Birmingham. I'm a Brummie, I was educa educated here, uh, worked here, live here, I've got an artist studio here and I wanted to um, commemorate um, the games being part of this great city. So I looked at the 72 countries in the Commonwealth, not all are participating and then I looked at the arts and culture of each one of those countries and noted that all, in some form in their history, either decorate their faces with paint or make masks. So I used that as a concept. I then made a mould to cast uh, each mask from. So each, each um, base of each mask is the same unit, but the form changes when it's decorated. Could you tell us why you've chosen Birmingham Community Libraries as a place to display your work? As a young boy, I um, used to go to my local library, which was Rednall Library, which is no longer there now, um, the City Library. Uh, the Art Gallery Museum, the Science Museum. Uh, I met Beverly Fry from uh, Birmingham Community Libraries and it seemed a very good fit in terms of that the games are being addressed as the people's games. Um, libraries are one of the most important community hubs in the city and then uh, it allowed us also that um, when the work's being displayed we could put um, literature alongside it that would be appropriate to that particular country. Do you find, as you create your art, that your pieces take on a life of their own, beyond your original idea? What's very interesting about the masks, the 72, they're all different. But they come from the same mould base, and they've been pressed in the same mould, and, and wrapped in canvas, and dipped in plaster. Um, so I do feel that there's another body of work to follow, another piece of work. It won't be until all the masks are completed 
and I group them together, something else might happen. That tends to happen in my practice. And while you're making work, the, the future work you think you're making leads on to make something that you might even thought of when the project started. Yeah. But uh, I am seeing little things that take place in terms of the mark making and the colours being used in each of the arts. Um, past arts you know, and, and local arts being made in those countries participating. So it's very interesting. So I don't know what the, <laughs> the final outcome is going to be. There will be 72 masks, yeah. but I'm, I'm sure that I will see something in, that in the bigger in the bigger work together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you for coming in to be interviewed today, Ken. It's been really interesting. Our final question is, how do you choose which materials you're going to work with? I'm okay. I feel confident. I've got, I've got a very strong engineering background. Um, so I'm quite confident that wherever the path leads me, I might start off with drawing or painting. But sometimes it leads off to do maybe a sculpture or maybe some audio work or maybe a photograph. So I'm comfortable with that. Even though yeah. I'm not um, highly skilled in each discipline, I think I'm competent enough in lots of disciplines to make a variety of work. Yeah. yeah. 